bad air, a year-round fire season, and worsening drought all connect back to climate change. And tonight, an international nonpartisan study commissioned by the United Nations is placing the blame for the climate crisis on humans. How exactly is Utah affected by climate change and what can be done about it? Fox 13's John Franke took an in-depth look at some of the trends that are alarming Utah scientists. He has the latest tonight from Capitol Hill. This summer here in Utah, we've seen drought, extreme flooding, and scorching hot temperatures. Conditions that one scientist at Utah State University says may not seem so unusual in the future. If we continue on the track that we're on, um, this summer, temperature-wise uh, and sort of extreme weather-wise, is going to be one of the milder summers for the rest of our lives. That is Robert Davies, an associate professor of physics at Utah State University. He combed through the panel on climate change report, his initial thoughts. It's saying what the previous five reports have said issued since 1990. Um, it's saying it louder and it's saying it with more precision. The data shows the Earth is warming at a rate faster than it has in centuries. Here's a chart from the report. It shows the decade of 2011 to 2020 saw global surface temperature 1.1 degrees Celsius, or about 2 degrees Fahrenheit higher than what was recorded between 1850 and 1900. Professor Davy shared an example from Utah to illustrate how temperatures are shifting to the hot side. In Tooele, for example, throughout the entire 20th century, there were four days above 103 degrees from 2001 to 2010. Tooele had 28 days. That summer, what about winter? As the temperature warms, uh, you can expect more of our wintertime precipitation to come as rain instead of snow. So all that mountain snow Utahns love, Davy says that too is not immune from the impact of global warming. In Park City, since 1970, Park City has lost six weeks worth of days in which it could snow. Six weeks of days in which the, temp the low temperature no longer goes below 32 degrees. Back in 2019, the Utah legislature commissioned a report called the Utah Roadmap. It was completed in 2020 by the Chem C. Gardner Institute at the University of Utah. It recommended goals for policymakers to address pollution and global warming in our state. Great set of, of possible goals for us as the state of Utah to talk about. State Representative Joel Briscoe has run several bills advocating for even more environmentally friendly policies. He believes lawmakers need to do more and do it now. I don't see a critical mass of decision makers or policymakers in Utah who are interested in talking about how to help Utah deal with the climate change that is happening to us right now. It's a discussion Professor Davies believes needs to happen quickly. Inaction could mean more drought or more flooding, a Utah that seems unrecognizable. For a given amount of additional temperature change, we can expect even bigger impacts than we had thought we would see even a decade ago. So what are some things that we can all do to stop the impact of climate change? Professor Davies says that transportation, how we eat and how we heat and cool ourselves are all things that add to our carbon footprint. But he says the real impact will come from here with lawmakers willing to make some significant changes. On the Hill, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.